So, if you clicked the video, you probably wanted to know how to make low poly wings inside a blender. So, yeah, that's basically the whole video. You make wings, you make them. Yeah, cheers to the video. What we're gonna do, uh, first off, I'm gonna go and import a low poly character. So, I'll see you then. Okay, so here we are. We have our low poly character. And then, so I was gonna hide this ring. And then, I'm gonna go and select this back of it and go Shift D. I press P to separate, okay? So now we have the separate piece uh, I'm going to turn this to the wings. So next off, I'm going to add, I have a reference image for devil wings. So go to my desktop and go to, okay, now that I found my reference image, I'm going to turn the opacity down to 0.25, uh, drag this back on the Y axis and then drag this up to where it lines up with my character, okay? So that looks about the right size for his uh, body okay so now we're going to select this back paste uh, black plate that we made and go to uh, modifiers and add a solidifier modifier and make it a bit thicker okay uh, i think that's a bit too thick but whatever we'll change it so next off we're going to actually we're going to delete this face uh actually let's just start over um so let's go add a cube a plane g rx90 and scales down then we're going to add a mirror modifier and if you've done it correctly while being in edit mode uh, the origin will be at the middle and the, it will be mirrored properly okay so next off we're going to uh put this vertex over here put this piece over here uh have this one over here okay and we're going to delete this vertex so this is what happens so we have this piece over here and then we have these piece pieces stemming off or uh yeah, whatever. So, and this one. Okay. So, what do we need to do? So, let's add two edges in here for each point in this piece. And then we're going to do the same thing. Extrude, extrude, extrude. And then we're going to add an edge hoop. Put it over here. Extrude, extrude, and extrude. Okay. And then we're going to select these vertices and fill these faces in. Do the same thing over here. Uh, oh, let's add a, a vertex over here and then put it like that, okay? And then we do the same thing for here. So we're going to pull and then add two edge loops over here, go over to like that, and then let's fill these faces in like that. Uh, We select these vertices, so we make it a face, or we can just make it a quad, we add a triangle, and then we add another edge loop, and then select these, F, and this one, F, okay? So that's the beginning of our wings, and then we are going to add a solidifier, like that, okay? And then next off, we're going to add... Uh, select this far edge, go into proportional editing, and then drag this back, and then rotate it like that, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing with rotating it like that. Or we'll just drag the bottom ones and drag it out like that. We can also drag out this end one. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edge mode, okay? And then we're going to select this edge up here going all the way down and select this edge and I'm shift alt clicking right clicking or selecting and like that okay so we have this little wireframe so press p to separate and take this and turn off the solidifier modifier okay so now you have this wireframe so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go add a modifier and add a skin modifier okay so you have this huge big block of stuff and if you don't know what this is skin modifier basically takes a straight uh, line of vertices and then add a big tube onto it so what you can press is Control a and make the scale it all the way down and add, so now you can get a bit more so you can see this would be the the wireframe and it just adds thickness to it all and then you can use Control a select vertice and change the size of it so if we want to just select these uh go to vertex select select all these vertices and then control a just to make it a big bone up here you can do that and then we go down here scale these these three up four up 
slightly, scale these up slightly, scale uh, those are fun, and we select all of them and then extrude and scale them down with control A. Like that, okay. And then what we're gonna do is select the, the wings and drag them back on the y-axis until it kind of goes into the back of him. And then we can extrude these bones into his back. Okay. So there you go. That's how we make, uh, the wing meshes are done. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is add a press this button called create armature. And as you can see, that just creates a simple rig for us. Uh, simply, simple and easy. So now let's select all three meshes and then select the rig. Uh, what we're gonna do with the rig first is press uh, go to armature and symmetrize. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, okay, so let's just set the um, let's set it up. Click up here the the pivot point. Select this and choose thirty cursor. And then we're going to sh uh, shift S, select the cold, uh, curse to world origin. And then we're going to go shift D, right click, control M, and press X. So that's going to mirror it along the X axis. Okay. And then we're going to go into ultra mode. Okay. So now we select all three meshes and then select the armature, press control P, and automatic weights. Now, if you go into pose mode, uh, okay. Um, I think we have to apply the mirror modifier. So it's like here, like here. So now if we go control P, automatic weights. Like that. Okay. So now we can uh, animate it independently. Um, okay. So the armature right now thinks that this is the root bone and that this is a tail. So we're going to have to Wait, yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to flip the direction of these. Because uh, if you go here to pose mode, uh, if we change it to octahedral, you can see this is backwards. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is recreate the break. So, well, what we can all we can do is just set the uh, select this bone over here, and set this to mark root, and then we're gonna have to delete this whole oh, we select here and mark root, okay, and we select create armature again, and here you go. We should have a correct armature. Cool. So then we select the mesh as well. Select the armature again. Control P. Automatic weights. And then if we move this, you can see it works. And then what we're going to do is add a RK to this. So we're going to go to edit mode, and then we're going to select up here with this bone on either side, like that. Uh, select the head. There, there. Okay, now extrude, dead, like that. Okay. And then we're going to select both of them and Alt P, clear parent. And then once we've done that, we're going to go, uh, what well, we're going to name them. I'm going to call this wings, uh, I've kept click on, wings rk.l, and name this left, uh, the other one, wings rk.r, okay, and we're going to go into pose mode, select this bone, select, oh, select, select the rk bone, then select the bone to the left of it, shift r to active bone, and do the same thing on the left side, shift r to active bone, and then we click on the yellow bone, go to the uh, object constraints tab, and then change the the chain length to. Uh, I'm gonna change it to four, and do the same thing on the other one. Chain length to four. Um, and then now if we pose it, uh, okay, so. Having a bit of problems with the rig, maybe let's just control P. Uh, wait, no, let's just redo the weight paint uh, with automatic weights. Okay, that doesn't help, whatever. Um, I think this rig over here is too complicated, so we're gonna just dissolve bones over here 
now if we go to uh, pose mode again this works okay and then we're going to do the same thing on the right side so we're going to select these points uh dissolve this bone and there and now we're going to uh, redo the weight paints again Control p automatic weights and then select the mesh again and do the same thing Control p with automatic weights okay guys my bad um what we have to do is we actually have to do the rk on the outside of the arms over here i mean the wings okay so we're going to delete these two bones uh the d bones go to pose mode and delete these constraints so i'll skip ahead do the exact same thing but we're doing the bones on these sides so i'll skip, see you there cheers okay guys so here we are so i just want to give you a quick tip uh when you are doing these rk bones go to the uh, bone properties and turn off the form so when you go and uh weight paint this like this when you do the automatic weights these bones do not get assigned a weight paint value okay so now if you go into post mode and uh, you can select these bones and you'll see so if we select both of them and gz you'll see that it actually kind of rolls the rings and if we scale them in well you can g what you can actually do is just subdivide subdivide and then drag these bones uh let's turn on x-axis mirror okay that doesn't seem to work uh this is gz scale x like that okay that should give us better deformations and then we go to uh the uh, rk and change it to a five chain length okay and then what we can do is push this in like that uh you see does it okay that's kind of wings uh what you could also do is just add maybe like a second rk if you wanted to fill these rings bigger but i mean for fly flying you can have flying like this so yeah, it's just a simple quick rig for getting your character's uh wings so here you go Yo guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make low play wings and character in Zelda Blender. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to catch me live, I actually stream right here on this channel. So make sure to watch out for that. And I uh, stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right here. Stay tuned. Have a good day. Cheers.